Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Rochester Red Wings and the Pawtucket Red Sox. At the plate, Nick Gordon. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Rolled slowly to first. Reined in. And that's out number one. Now in the box, Drew Maggi. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right, and that's in there. Base hit. Batting third, the center fielder, Jake Cave. At the plate now, Jake Cave. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Batting fourth. The right field. Maggi Alex. is off of first with two away. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Matheny is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Marco Hernandez steps in. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1 1. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Hernandez is retired, and there's one away. Digging in, Marcus Wilson is two for seven in the series so far. Now the one and one pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Line drive to center field. Cave. Is there now, and he has it, two gone. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. He's got over his first six at bats in the series so far. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Batting four. The first baseman. Into the box, Josh Akami. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two out with the man at first. Ground ball right side. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The third baseman, Bobby Goldberg. So now to the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that leaving the count at two and two. Two and two, here it is. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Now at the plate, Trevor Lardick is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And the pitch. Three ball. 
Xander Wheel waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Hard ground ball to third, right to him. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So stepping in, Xander Wheel. Xander Wheel. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. The 1 2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2 and 2. And the pitch. And he popped him up. Hernandez ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in. Brent Rooker. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. At the plate, Travis Blankenhorn. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Now another one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Another one two delivery. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. ready to go for the last half of the inning and coming forward now is the shortstop CJ Chatham here now the 2 2 on the ground to third field it cleanly throw on to first in time one away striding forward now is the DH Nick Longy as he'll get his first opportunity in this one Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Striding into the box. Cesar Puello will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Jeffers. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Fouled away. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a chopper to the left side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter, one. So striding forward now, Nick Gordon. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. The third base. Standing in, Drew Maggi. He singled his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his... And the throw to first is there. The inning is over.
Striding in, Tate Matheny as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1. One, one. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The one two. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Marco Hernandez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now at the plate, Marcus Wilson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Heading out towards shallow right. Kirillov is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Jake Cave looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Two and two now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Wilson is there and he has it for the first out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alex Kirillov. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Fastball too high, ball four. Ready now, Trevor Larnick. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. 2-2. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. This one is launched. Look at this. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. To the plate now, Xander Wheel. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Akami camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Now back. Stepping in, Brent Come Rooker up. reached base Brent. via the walk in his first plate Rooker. appearance. The 1-1. One, one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. He takes the turn and heads for second. And it's off the green monster. And he will pull into second with a two out double. The battle. The second baseman. Travis Blankenhorn. Into the box now. Travis Blankenhorn. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings in Jonathan Lucroy. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get it. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. 
And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Into the box now, Josh Ockamy. A base hit in his first trip. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Rooker is right there. And that's out number two. Standing in, Bobby Dahlbeck. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. At the plate, C.J. Chatham. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Swung on and hit in the air again, deep down the left field line. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Around first, digging for two. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. The designated hitter. In now, Nick Longy. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Kyle Hart, the six foot five inch left hander, takes over on the mound now. Number 81. All set for the start of the inning, and next to hit is the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. The back, so the lineup flips over and digging in Nick Gordon. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The 1 1. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now here's the pitch. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. This is the matchup you'd like as a pitcher, right? Lefty on left. But sometimes you don't win all of the battles. Gave this guy a pitch to hit, and he made him pay for it. Stepping in now, Drew Maggi. A ball and two strikes now. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Three and two now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Hit back up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Now back the center field. At the plate now, Jake Kane lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Ready once again, Alex Kirilov. All for one with a run scored thus far. 
even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Cesar Puello. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here's another one, too. I got to count two and two. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. Number one away. Two, number 32. Into the box. Tate Matheny comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a soft liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The second baseman, Marco. To the plate now, Marco Hernandez. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now batter. Digging in once again, Marcus Wilson. He flew out in his last at bat. To first. Ready for another shot now. Jonathan Lucroy. Yes, he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A 1 1 home. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Akami, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Hit out towards second. And this goes right past him. Oh, my. That might play two. The relay. Throw to second, and he's out. That ends the inning, but two runs do count on the play. Standing in now, Trevor Larner. Nope, that's and that misses two and one. Two balls, one strike. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And this will get down and make its way to the monster for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now back the first base. Xander Wheel. Into the box, Xander Wheel. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A bouncer up the middle. He will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So a big moment here and standing in Brent Rooker as he'll do his best to bring home the go ahead run from third 90 feet away. The 3 1 is in there for the second strike. Both teams with six hits so far. High in the air out towards shallow right. 
Coelho has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he's not even going to consider it here as he holds tight at third with two away now. The second baseman. Digging in, Travis Blankenhorn, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Hit on the ground out to short, reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Matt Whistler enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 39. Digging in and looking for more, Bobby Dahlbeck. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. At the plate, C.J. Chatham. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Whistler benefits from the fact that he throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many batters. However, there have been occasions where he's been hit around a bit. And that's one of the keys when you're managing a guy like this. If he's on, you're going to see him attack hitters. And when he's not, he's more prone to giving up base hits. So you have to have the bullpen ready if it's one of those days that he doesn't have it. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Now the one and one pitch. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two to second for one. And it's in time to get him. A one run is in to score on the play. So the base is empty now after the double play. And next it'll be the outfielder, Tate Matheny. The one two is swung on and missed he got him Colton Brewer is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven number 48 digging in now Ryan Jeffers he's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Dahlbeck is calling for it. One out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Nick Gordon He's working on a one for three thus far. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. High and deep down the left field line. And he's going to make the play over toward his right. And there are two away now. Now batting. Now batting. Drew Maggi. So far, two for three in this one. The one two is laid off for ball two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. Heading out towards shallow right. Coelho will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Marco Hernandez. No hits to this point. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. He takes it to the opposite field high and deep to left and he's going to make the catch on the warning track a fine running play there for the first out so digging in now Marcus Wilson he reached on an error and later scored his last time up lifted in the air out towards left center long run for the center fielder but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass 
Now batting, Hector Jonathan. Stepping in now, Jonathan Lucroy. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Now a move over to first. Throw is up the line as it gets away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now Austin Adams the takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. In now, Josh Akami. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Stepping into the box, Bobby Dahlbeck. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Two down, runners at first and second. Outside and a full count, three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. And the run will score all the way from first. It's a seven to three ball game. Now that the plate now, C.J. Chatham. A ball and two strikes. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Fastball here misses low, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Here now the two-two. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And it bangs off the monster. He'll get it into second. On to second, but he's in safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. At the plate now, Nick Longy had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kirillov is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Wait, Josh Osich has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number five. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Jake Cave. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Jake Kier goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Hit hard on the ground is short. Scooped up. And there are two away now. Stepping into the box, Trevor Larnick. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we the same right here. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Zach Littell is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 52. Zach. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Cesar Puello. The 2-1 home. Popped up. Wheel in foul ground. He's got it one away.
Ready for another chance. Tate Matheny. He went down on strikes last time up. One out, nobody on. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Now back, second baseman, Marco. Into the box, Marco Hernandez lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. In now, Marcus Wilson. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. In to score, the runner from third. Now that is the pitcher. At the plate, Jonathan Luke hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and here comes the first baseman, Xandra Wheel. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Three and one now. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The one-one home is taken for ball two. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. To second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. Now to the plate, Travis Blankenhorn. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Grounded back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. Stepping in now, Ryan Jeffers. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. 9-3, to three, the final tally here in this one. The Pawtucket Red Sox used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Kyle Hart wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Fans are quite a line score. First for the victorious Pawtucket Red Sox. Nine runs, 14 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Red Wings, three runs on seven hits. One error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 25 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please... Drive home safely.